Russian army fails in Donbass, Ukrainian forces defeated group of the most modern tanks in this area. A few days ago, Russian invaders tried to attack the defenders of Ukraine near the city of Kurakov, Donetsk region, and lost, in particular, three tanks. The composition of the invaders' armors were unusual when involved in the attack, Forbes writes. According to the 79th Air Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the enemy unit that went on the attack included the brand new T-72B3M tanks with all the latest gadgets, lattice armor against drones, radio installers and demining rollers. In addition, the enemy used a number of armored personnel carriers and soldiers on motorcycles. The 47-ton, three-seat T-72B3M tank is one of two types of tanks that are produced in Russia. The other is a heavier T-90M. Russian industry produces from 500 to 600 new T-72 and T-90 tanks per year. That's far more tanks than any other country produces in a year, but too few to compensate for the roughly 1,200 tanks that Russian troops lose in Ukraine each year. Journalists added that the Kremlin removes old tanks from long-term storage T-54-55 of the 1950s, T-62 of the 60s and older, T-72 and T-80 of the 70s and 80s to close the gap between the production of tanks and their losses. The publication stressed that the old models make up an increasing share of the tank core of the Russian Federation, so the T-72B3M are becoming a rarity, and that certainly makes their mass extermination in failed attacks like the one near Kurakov especially painful for the Russians, the article stresses. It's telling that the assault group aiming for Kurakiv included fewer APCs than tanks. The Kremlin is struggling to acquire replacement tanks, but it's struggling even more to acquire replacement APCs and infantry fighting vehicles. That's apparently why the group also included bike troops. As armored vehicles become an increasingly rare and precious commodity in the Russian military, civilian-style vehicles, trucks, all-terrain vehicles and motorcycles are replacing them. ATA CMS in action, three months of destroying Russian air defense in Ukraine. A few weeks after reports surfaced in the American press in mid-March that the United States was preparing to transfer new batches of ATA CMS tactical ballistic missiles to Ukraine, there was a notable uptick in missile strikes targeting Russian air defense systems in the temporarily occupied territories of eastern Ukraine and Crimea. The Militani media outlet wrote this. It is noted that in addition to air defense systems, the missiles also hit other important facilities and equipment of the Russian invaders. The first publicly known strike occurred on April the 17th when MGM-140 ATA CMS missiles targeted Russian facilities near the military airfield in Zankoy. This airfield hosts the 39th Helicopter Regiment of the 27th Mixed Aviation Division, part of the 4th Guards Air and Air Defense Forces Army of the Southern Military District, comprising three aviation squadrons. The missile strike destroyed three launchers and a radar station of the Russian S-400 Triumph Air Defense System. Following this, a second significant strike was reported at the Reception and Repair Center for military equipment of the 77th Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade in Korinovsk, Krasnodar Krai. At the time of the strike, two S-300 launchers were present at the site. Additionally, a secondary detonation of unknown ammunition occurred, causing further damage. The Russian occupiers reported casualties including both killed and wounded personnel. Satellite imagery confirmed the extensive damage to the Russian air defense systems and the airfield in Zankoy, showing the remnants of four S-400 launchers and evidence of a fire near an ammunition depot. It is worth noting that representatives of the armed forces of Ukraine or the Ukrainian government didn't make any comment on the issue. Information about these strikes came from social media, news agencies and other media, including those of the aggressor country. On the night of April the 30th, another missile attack targeted the Zankoy military airfield. Days later, satellite images revealed the destruction of an S-300 or S-400 air defense system launcher. It was not officially reported what kind of weapon was used to hit the airport, but the Occupation Administration of Crimea claimed that it was an ATA CMS tactical ballistic missile strike. The ongoing strikes have not been limited to these initial incidents. Later, the Ukrainian Defense Forces started targeting the Russian invaders' military facilities in the eastern part of Ukraine that is currently under temporary Russian occupation. On May and June, Ukraine hit the Russian army several times with ATA CMS missiles. 
The armed forces of Ukraine use both M142 HIMARS wheeled launchers and M270 tracked launchers to deploy ATA CMS tactical ballistic missiles. Unlike the HIMARS, which are equipped with only one missile, the M270 systems can launch two ATA CMS missiles simultaneously.